Let's learn about glomerular filtration. Your kidneys produce 180 liters of filtrate every day. All of this filtrate is produced in a microscopic structure called the nephron. The part of the nephron where filtration occurs is called the glomerulus. Here's a picture of an actual glomerulus. Blood goes into the glomerulus and filtrate comes out. Here's a diagram of a glomerulus. The glomerulus contains special structures that help to filter the blood. Let's take a closer look at these structures. The capillaries inside of the glomerulus are fenestrated, meaning they contain holes. Special structures, called podocytes, surround the capillaries. Podocytes have filtration slits in their foot processes. The fenestrations, podocytes, and a basement membrane between them together form the filtration membrane. The filtration membrane only allows very small substances through. Examples include water, glucose, electrolytes, and amino acids. Larger substances, such as blood cells and plasma proteins, do not fit through the filtration membrane. Let's take a closer look at a model of the filter. There are three pressures involved in controlling the filter. Glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure is the fluid pressure within the capillaries. It runs about 50 millimeters of mercury. Glomerular capsular hydrostatic pressure is the fluid pressure within the glomerular capsule. This pressure runs about 10 millimeters of mercury. Colloid osmotic pressure runs about 30 millimeters of mercury. Glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure favors filtration. Glomerular capsular hydrostatic pressure opposes filtration. Colloid osmotic pressure also opposes filtration. Colloid osmotic pressure is produced by plasma proteins that act like a salt in the blood. They help to keep the plasma in the blood by creating a pulling force. All three pressures combine to form the net filtration pressure, the pressure that drives the filter. We calculate net filtration pressure by subtracting the two opposing pressures from the glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure that favors filtration. The net filtration pressure is about 10 millimeters of mercury. Net filtration pressure is proportional to glomerular filtration rate, which is the amount of filtrate produced by all of the glomeruli in both kidneys in each minute. Glomerular filtration rate is controlled by a number of mechanisms. One of these is the juxtaglomerular apparatus located at the junction of the distal convoluted tubule and afferent arterial of the nephron. The juxtaglomerular apparatus has special cells that help to regulate the diameter of the afferent arterial by vasoconstricting or vasodilating it. The juxtaglomerular apparatus can also trigger another system called the renin-angiotensin system, which can help to increase blood pressure. There is also a myogenic mechanism within the afferent arterial that causes increased vasoconstriction when blood pressure is high and vasodilation when blood pressure is low. This helps to regulate the amount of filtrate produced. The sympathetic nervous system also has an effect on the filter. In times of stress, the sympathetic nervous system shunts blood away from the kidneys via vasoconstriction.
Even though the millions of glomeruli in the kidneys produce around 180 liters of filtrate every day, most of it is reabsorbed back into the blood by another process known as tubular reabsorption. We hope you have learned something about glomerular filtration and see you next time.